Okay, right. if, do you have a skinny filter? <laughs> I would really I'll make sure you look beautiful. Thank you. Which you already do. Oh, thank you. You're good. You're I good. am. I am. <laughs> What's going on everybody and welcome back to a brand new YouTube video. Today we're in Newport Beach, California talking to everyday Californians who are unsurprisingly all pro-choice. So we're going to talk to them, see if we can just, you know, try and level with them, maybe change their mind. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Go ahead and smash the like button for me. It takes a lot of work flying out to California for these videos. So please show your support by smashing the like button, commenting, sharing with all your friends who would enjoy this, and please subscribe. We're so close to 30,000 subscribers so let's go straight into the video so yesterday there was a big event outside the Walgreens and CVS stakeholder meeting by the pro-life crowd protesting the abortion pill which is about to be distributed to the public do you think that the abortion pill is safe to be distributed to the public and what's your thoughts on it absolutely and reproductive rights are an individual's choice no no corporation no board no government should ever make that choice for a woman so yesterday CBA, a bunch of pro-life protesters entered a shareholders meeting and interrupted it because the FDA now relaxed safety standards that now allows regular mom and pop abortion, or I'm sorry, regular mom and pop uh, pharmacies to dispense the abortion pill. Are you concerned that because of this, now it's not at any specialized pharmacy now, that we could be potentially putting women in danger by letting any run-of-the-mill pharmacy dispense these drugs? Not unless they are the proper medication and the proper pills that are being um, given and prescribed to these yeah. women. But 28 women already with the safety standards in place have died from this medication. Now, does it concern you that these regular run-of-the-mill pharmacies are not going to be performing the proper tests, ensuring that these tests have been performed, like making sure they don't have a, uh, a top, a topic pregnancy, making sure that the blood tests are, are, are performed, that these could potentially result in dangerous conditions for women? That is concerning, but it's the woman's responsibility to make sure that if she were to have take that medication, then she should go through those tests and make sure that yes, this is what I want and this is how it's supposed to be. Don't, are you concerned though that this might affect people who have low income and disproportionately affecting people that aren't educated that don't have the right to those decisions? In other, in other words, you know, shouldn't it be the job of the government to ensure that the safety standards are met to keep the public safe? Yes, I do think that. So this. Does this concern you that already 28 women have died and then the FDA might be politicized here in relaxing safety standards that are resulting behind this? Uh, like, are we concerned that potentially young women are going to get these drugs, little girls are going to get these drugs, take them? I mean, we already saw people at the Supreme Court the day Roe v. Wade was just top pop abortion pills for media purposes. I. I believe it should be accessible, accessible for anyone who needs it and who wants it. It may be dangerous, but people are going to get it one way or another. And if they're making it more accessible to people who don't have the means to do it safely, then sure. I agree with that. But yes, it is concerning that yeah. they are. Okay. And in your opinion, because I think it's really important, anytime we talk about abortion, we must answer the question, when does life begin? So in your opinion, when is that? I don't have an opinion on it. If I had to make that choice, I'd make that choice for myself. They say, you know, the, the religious aspect of it, that's between the individual and God. Mm -hmm. I'm not here to judge that person. If they feel that life doesn't be begin until birth, so be it. Um, that's their choice and they have to answer to God for that. But from your research, when would you say that life begins? Um, I think anything after 12 weeks would be a little much for me. Okay, okay. Um, so 12 weeks. Yeah. Okay. Because right. you know you're pregnant by that point and, you know, if, if there was some something that caused you to be pregnant that was un, 
unpleasant, mm -hmm. rape, incest, you know you have a chance of becoming pregnant and you'd be watching for it. So 12 weeks is kind of when life begins. So do you think that abortion is wrong after that? No. No. No, I think it's up to the individual. Mm -hmm. And why is that? Because we should be in control of our own bodies. Mm -hmm. But if life begins after 12 weeks, like you said, then is it your body if you have a, a body forming inside? Um, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Now, then, should I'm just kind of curious, the next step, I'm, I'm c concerned that the next move is to get these type of drugs over the counter. Would that concern you? Yes. So do you, would you support any type of legislation that would make these drugs become available on the shelves? I believe it is available on the shelf. At not, the moment, not, it? no, it's, no, it's not. You have to have a prescription, the, the abortion pill. Okay. Um, Over the counter, like a cough syrup or, uh, you know, um, a uh, morning after pill. I believe that is already available in, in That's stores. what I'm saying, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I'm saying, should the, do you believe, though, that the abortion pill should be over the counter just like cough syrup? No, I think it should be accessible for everyone. It, it should. should be. So no, you don't need any prescription to have an get an abortion pill. No. You're not. What if this woman has an ectopic pregnancy and you're going to kill her with this medication? Then she needs to make that choice for herself. So you're saying that medications that could potentially kill a woman should be available on the shelves with zero medical oversight. Lots of things can potentially kill multiple people, um, but if it's available and it's necessary for that woman or that's how what she believes she wants to do with her body, that's her choice. So um, what, what's your view on flavored tobacco? That was just, yep. that was just outlawed. Is, is that a good thing or a bad thing? I believe it's a good thing, even though I do vape myself. It's going to be more difficult, but it's... So uh, let me just understand you here. You're saying medications that can kill women, totally available, no problems, but the government should ban flavored tobacco. I'm not saying that. It's good for the children these days who are getting addicted to nicotine. And but, that would have... That was the question, health. though. The government just banned flavored tobacco, but you're saying a woman should get a medication that could potentially kill her. Mm, it's... Thank you for your time. Thank you. I have to ask, let's just say that the child has XY chromosomes, it's going to be a man. Does that mean that you temporarily have a penis? I'm sorry, I don't understand the question. What do you mean temporarily like, have a penis? If you're saying it's your body mm -hmm. and you're having a male child, does, it, does that mean that you have a penis? No, it would mean that the fetus inside my body has a penis. Yes, absolutely, I agree. So, so why do you think it's okay to terminate that child's life? I think it's up to the individual. It's, it's not for me to tell them what's right or wrong to do with their body. Right, right, right. So if I were to go up and push those women off the, off the edge, would you say, you know, it's, it's not my life, it's yours, so do whatever you want? Absolutely not. Because you value life, right? Um, that's a, a full and productive life and you're making a decision for them when they have their their own their own thoughts and feelings and actions the child has feelings too especially after 12 weeks oh, yeah that's great that's your opinion and that's really cool and i respect that mm -hmm. and you you still think that's okay though to yeah. to terminate that child's life if the individual chooses to do it yeah okay. even up until birth up until birth um, not for me to say I've never been in that situation, so how can I make a judgment call on that? Thank you guys so much for watching this video. As you guys can tell, we're still in Newport Beach, California. It takes so much work flying out to places like this, so please leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. If you haven't already, I don't know what you're doing. Please get this video to 1,000 likes, though. If you want to watch part two, I'm posting it on the trenches. It is so important that you guys go watch the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. That's where a lot of the content this year is going to be on. So please go watch that video right now. Here it is, let's cue the outro. This world is, I just, get me off the carousel.